blending indie, R&B, and dance music, Parker Paul Hill joins us in the studio right after this. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hi, After Buzzers, and welcome to Mini Spotlight, where we highlight rising stars in music, TV, and film. I'm your host, Amy Cassandra Martinez, and we are joined by the lovely and talented Parker Paul Hill. Hi. How you doing, Amy? Oh my gosh, thank you for your patience with your last name. It is a fun name to say, <laughs> but it looks different than how it's pronounced. Yes. Correct. Okay. It's Paul Hill. P O L H I L L. So there you go. <laughs> Listeners, viewers, now you know. Okay, so we're going to start off by just sharing what people can listen to, what you have going on, where people can follow you, all that jazz. Yeah, so right now I have a few singles out, mm -hmm. um, Wasted and On One, On One being the latest one, and the music video is actually going to be out um, on the 25th of this month, um, so it's coming up in a few days, go check it out. And I'm most active on Instagram and uh, Facebook, I guess. Um, oh. But yeah, so that's cool. That's kind of so I always like asking artists what comes first the beat, the lyrics, which one for you? For me, all the above. Um, what both at the same time? Well, same time. Okay. Um, sometimes lyrics just come to me and every day driving down the street. Um, and then sometimes I'll have a producer send me a, a track and I'll write to that kind of thing. Oh, that's um, nice. My favorite way to write, though, is probably just picking up an acoustic guitar and finding some chords that I enjoy and uh, rolling with That's it, start throwing lyrics on it, you know? So it's just like you're, you're at home and just strumming your guitar and stuff. Yeah, like, and oh. I, I like to collaborate a lot with people, so mm -hmm. um, I have sessions where I'll go in and co-write songs with people and producers, and so that's kind of, and usually I'll come in with concepts and have some uh, pre-thought out ideas coming into it, so. Yeah. Okay, weird question. What is the weirdest place you've thought of a good song? The weirdest place? Yeah. Um, Feel free to be very open with us. It's <laughs> yeah. a safe space. Yeah. Um, weird place. Hmm. The toilet. Yeah. I, I mean, I was, in this, I was in this RV once, and it was like kind of a sketchy situation. Yeah. And like the song that came out of it was like really happy. And so it didn't fit the vibe whatsoever. And the song, I mean, it, it's an alright song. It'll probably never be out. But well, who knows? Yeah, now that yeah. we know it, you know that it started in an RV, and now it's something. What is it? What is it called? Are you allowed to share? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe we'll hear it, and then you'll tell us. Oh, hey, this was started yep, in an yep, RV. Yep. What happens when you don't have a sheet of paper or, or even your phone in a weird, crazy world where you don't have your phone, you don't have anything to write on? What do you do? Um, I mean, just remember it, I guess. Um, lyrics come a little easier than melody, so... Okay. Well, I shouldn't say easier, but I can remember lyrics easier than melody, so if I have... I kind of need my phone if I'm writing because I need to keep the the notes of what I'm writing the down. Notes. Yeah. Oh, that was good. I thought that was going to be better. <laughs> I tried, guys. I tried. Okay, so thinking about the first time that you realized that you wanted to be a musician, what sure. was that like? Who was the first person that made you think, yeah, that's what I want to do? Um, probably Chris Brown. I grew up, okay. grew up loving Chris Brown. Um, yeah, back in the day. Back, back in when, the Back when I was probably eight, nine, you know? Back in the day. Do you remember what year? Um, Chris Brown, I mean, I remember, yeah, like kind of... I like, mean, it was back in the Run It and... Run It, Run yeah, It, Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Those days, those days, that so... That was fun. Yeah. So, did you start picking up guitar first? Because I know there's some very cool stories about you first starting to play. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I, I always started with piano. Um, played piano a little bit when I was a kid, and um, when I really decided to pursue it. Uh, as a career, then piano is kind of where I started at, and later guitar came, and I produced a little bit and all that good stuff, so, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. So, did it come super easily, or was it where your family was like, oh, Parker? So, singing doing? always came easily. That was kind of natural, God-given. Okay. Um, okay. But, uh, yeah, the other instruments, I've had to put a lot of time and effort into learning those. It's not... 
Not overnight. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not something you can just kind of, I mean, I've seen or heard stories of mm -hmm. people claim they can just sit down and play. Yeah, okay, guys. But like. But it, it happens. Yeah. I mean, but most, most let's of Let's be honest. Is, I know, <laughs> I not, know. It's not how it works. <laughs> exactly. So moral of the story, if, if you find an instrument difficult to play, just keep playing and practice. Yeah. And then you'll get better. Like that one Carnegie Hall quote, it's like, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. I've actually sang in Carnegie Hall before. I've played in Carnegie Hall. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wait, when? tell your story. Oh, it was a while ago. Oh, Tell your too, story. But oh my gosh. Wait, I was in no. a choir. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, were we there at the same it, time? No. <laughs> I was in orchestra. <laughs> oh, okay. Was it in high school? Um, Middle school. Oh, dang. I was in seventh grade, eighth grade. Okay. And yeah. Tell us more. What was the whole, how? Um, I was in a choir and <laughs> yes. I was at my school and we submitted and I think we were one of, I mean, thousands of choirs that yeah. submitted their stuff and it worked out. It was like opera stuff though, so it wasn't like, not that it wasn't like, cool. No, but it, was it wasn't. a different style. Yeah, I yeah. mean, imagine like just getting down at Carnegie Hall. <laughs> yeah. Like, that'd be something else. <laughs> so what was that experience like for you? I know, I mean, you were a young kid, seventh, yeah, yeah. eighth grade. But even then, like, did you understand how much of a an important place that was? I literally had no clue. No! I had no, no clue what was going on. I was like, oh, we're going up to New York. This will be Swear. fun. Yeah, this will be awesome. Field trip. Yeah, but no, I didn't really get it Dude. until, I mean, really, I guess, like, a few years ago, I was like, wait, I've actually sang in Carnegie Hall. That's that's right? crazy, yeah. Like, when you throw that little tidbit out there for people, they're yeah. usually like, what? And yeah. Like, yeah, you know. Did that. Did, did that. that. <laughs> I was in seventh grade. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, so who inspires you now that you're like, okay, so this is the kind of music that I want to create. This is a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Um, now, like present day artist or? Well, I mean, no. Okay. Could be anyone. Um, yeah, I mean, Drake, I don't make music like him, but his music inspires me, and uh, Chris Brown, obviously. Um, if I were to pick a newer artist that I've just recently found that is going crazy, I'd say Bozzy. Bozzy? Do you know who that is? I he don't, just came out with his first album. Okay. He just came out with his first album. How it's do you great. spell? B-A-Z-Z-I. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's okay. dope. He's what dope. about him is is the reason that you're like, dang, he does. He's just, uh, I mean, it's just his music. I don't know anything about him, really. I, I, don't, I mean, his I music. think he came from Vine or something, but oh. he's he's like, just came out with an album, and it's it's crazy. And he writes all of his own stuff, and so I, re I can, uh, I don't know if he co-writes with people, but he writes his own stuff, so that's very respectable as an artist, and yeah, I, I mean, mean, he just seems really... Yeah. I mean, it's music school. <laughs> you don't know. He could be listening or watching. So if you want to give a little what shout up, out to <laughs> Collaborate, yo. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> so where do you hope to see yourself in 10 years? I mean, from playing ten the years. piano to now, here you are. I mean, where do you see yourself? in 10 years, I mean, hopefully I'll have a family by then. But um, I, I'd still love to be doing world tours and... I mean, not that I've done those yet, but those okay, are my goals. Like, Got big that's, goals. But that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Where would you love to go on the world tour? I've never been to Europe anywhere oh, in Europe. Sweet, I've been to Africa once, but that was like a mission trip kind of thing. So oh. in Kenya, which was awesome. But so I've never really been over there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't really know where to start. Italy sounds cool, though. Ooh, and you can have pizza. Yeah. That's the first thing. I don't know. <laughs> pizza? Pizza, singing, <laughs> sounds like a good, like, fun time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm going to throw this out there. Roll with me. Okay. Have you seen the Lizzie McGuire movie? I have. Oh, my gosh. Yay. Who okay. hasn't seen that movie? Right? Though? So it could be like that whole thing where you get mistaken for a pop star, and then you're like, I got skills. So yeah. It's not or like... hopefully, like, I'll be a pop star. Oh, that too. <laughs> that too. Yeah. And you won't need to like throw a coin in the trevi fountain. Yeah. Not like I know the plot of the movie. I don't know <laughs> it that well. But dude, no, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So where do you, like, what do you want to do next? Like immediately next? Um, so I have a project coming out okay. in July. My first project is an EP. It's going to be five or six songs. Really looking forward to it. Um, it's called the Intro EP. Pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Introduction into the game, you know. Um, but hopefully, uh, I would love to go on a tour with a big artist, a Bozzy or a, I don't know. And Chris Brown. Sounds yeah, like Chris Brown. Fan, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. any of those guys, that'd be awesome. Sean Mendes, I mean, any of those guys, oh, that'd be yeah. 
that'd be awesome. So um, oh my gosh. Yeah, hopefully once this project comes out, get a, get another get a video out and mm -hmm. try to get on some tours. You know. Now you've shared a lot about what you do in your career, but what is something that people watching and listening do not know about you and can find out about you on the internet? Um. What did they? What, wait, what did you say? Something that we don't know about you that we can't find on the internet, you know, if we did some digging. Um, well, I don't know. I'm a pretty open person. I'm, okay. I, I got a great family. I love my family. Do you I love a, sports okay. and music is pretty much all I do. So. Do you have a weird talent that people don't know about? Um, there was a laugh there, so it's like, <laughs> whoa. I, can, I mean, I can make some weird noises, I guess. You know what I'm gonna ask you now. <laughs> no. I, mean, come on. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> what? It's yeah. loud. It's loud. I actually found this out like a week ago. Perfect. <laughs> we in time for this interview. No, you but it's weird. It's real weird. Um, we're weird here. Yeah, we I guess weird. so. Weirdo. This is a safe space. Even just a little tidbit. We'll we'll ride the audio. Don't worry. <laughs> but it's it's really loud. So like, okay. You might wanna. Okay. It's a bird noise. Oh my gosh! You should have started with that. Well, I don't really know if it's a bird oh, noise, but it's kind of, it's kind of I'll like help that. I'll you with that. There you go. Okay, go. <laughs> but but you can't get away with that. You have to do it now. I can't believe I'm about to do this. It's okay. It's just us. <laughs> I don't want to look when I do this. <laughs> okay. It's okay. <laughs> Guys, uh, that is golden. No, it's that yeah. that is golden. There's that my is... bird noise, everybody. <sighs> I have no words to express <laughs> the absolute gratitude I have that you did oh, that. Oh, my face is probably red right you now. You are fine. Probably, you yeah. are a bird. Seriously, it sounded like a, I mean, I don't know much about birds, but it sounded like an eagle. <laughs> an eagle? No? I mean, I don't know Do either. you know more about birds? I, I, well, it sounded like a cool bird. Thank you, bird. I'm going to call you that now. Birdman. Bird. Oh, that's good. There's a rapper named Birdman, though, so. Oh, I was of, like, it's the movie. Or the movie. The movie. Uh, with Michael Keaton. Oh, I don't you should movie. see it. It's really good. Check and then you can out. just, you know, at the end of the, the movie, once you're done, be like, ah, I saw it, guys. <laughs> you do my bird noise? That was me trying to do it. Oh, <laughs> okay. I know, I know. It's you your time. You can do that, though. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> it was yeah. decent, decent. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing all of that um, exciting news and also that bird noise. <laughs> you can just tell everyone where they can find you and your bird bird noises on social media. Yeah, so p at Parker Paul Hill. Again, it's P-O-L-H-I-L-L. -L. Um, I'm on Instagram the most, uh, Facebook and Twitter also, but and they're all the same. So go check me out. Look out for that on one video and that EP coming out in July. That's so exciting. You definitely have to throw in a bird sound in there <laughs> eventually, okay? Like within the next 10 years. Yeah. We'll just, we'll be on the lookout for that. All right. And thank you guys so much for joining us. I am Amy Cassandra Martinez. You can find me on all social media at Amy Cassandra MTZ. We'll see you guys later. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later.